Hey guys, welcome to Legacy Taekwondo. My name is Austin Weeb and I'm a fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo and today I will be teaching you sidekick. Now, there's something very important to remember about sidekick right off the bat and that is that it's not a hinge kick, okay? It's a, it's a straight snapping kick, okay? So that is what a sidekick is by definition. So it's not a hinge kick. You don't kick the same way you would with a roundhouse kick. Um, but instead it's a uh, pushing kick, right? Uh, so there are three different applications that I'm gonna show you guys today and uh, I'll just get right to it. So one thing that's very important to remember is the angle of your foot. So here, I'm not kicking with my toe down, I'm kicking with my foot flat. Heel presented and I was taught to angle my foot in a little bit, okay? Now here is something very important. My standing foot is going to turn as well when I kick. So I'm going to bring my foot up here and my standing foot turns as I kick. Okay. So you're going to kick in a straight line, pushing your target away. This is a very important kick in sparring because it establishes your distance uh, from your opponent. And it's also a very highly scored kick in Pumse, so it's very important. I just got back from competing in uh, US Open for Pumse, and uh, man, there were some beautiful sidekicks there. Really beautiful, great competitors. But um, one thing to make sure of is that in Pumse, what you want to do is uh, the emphasis is on the lockout. I'm going to bring it back in, right? You want to make sure that you recoil. But what I want you to focus on is this foot here. As I bring my foot up, and as I kick out, this foot turns, okay? This foot slides, okay? Notice that, so here, boom, back in, okay? And when I recoil, it comes back in. So here, back in. So that is one thing that's very important to uh, note. Another thing that's very important is, a lot of people, when they do side kick, their bum is up. This turn of the back foot makes you stand a little bit more erect, right? Helps you to kick a little bit straighter. Okay, another thing that's important um, to remember here is your entire body is in one line. Okay, so it's not like I'm kicking here. Remember to turn this foot, that should straighten up your kick. So it looks a little bit better. Uh, so, in Pumse, the emphasis is on the lockout and the hold and flexibility. Guys, you need to stretch, okay? Because if I can side kick this high with pretty good form, I can side kick here with really good form. So, here, I'm gonna bring my foot up, make sure this leg slides too. Boom, back in, down. That is the emphasis in uh, boom safe. Great way to practice this. I'm going to use a wall. I'm going to stand on my back, everything up against it. Bring my foot up, heel against the wall. Slide my standing foot, keep my heel against the wall. Out and back in. This will create good habits as far as keeping your body in one line. Um, great way to practice this kick is uh, snaps. Okay, so you're going to keep your foot facing the wall. You stand tall, heel in, and you're going to practice that a whole bunch of times. Okay, a whole bunch, like 15, 20. Uh, I do a, I do a lot of uh, kicks. So that is a great emphasis to have. So you work on that snap over and over and over again. If you're form starts to go sour, then stop kicking. Okay, so that is the Pumse way of kicking, okay? Make sure you stand tall. Sparring, the same thing applies, right? This kick is now called cut kicks, basically the same thing. So you go here and you kick to establish the distance. Very, very good for that. Now, if you can land this kick, you basically dominate the match. If you're pushing your opponent like this, you can switch this to a roundhouse kick. 
if you want to, an axe kick, whatever. This kick is very important. So you stand here, boom. Here the emphasis is not on lockout, it's on speed. You want to be able to kick really fast. So if I'm standing here, another thing, again guys, posture is very important. I don't want to crouch and follow my knee. If I follow my knee, all they need to do is make me miss a little bit and they can hit me in the face. That's worth more points than a body shot, not to mention no one wants to get hit in the face. So, you want to use that kick uh, well and you can even keep it up and land more than one hit. Very, very great way to use that kick. So that's how you use it in sparring and it helps you establish the distance, helps you control your opponent and move them around. Now, in a street fight, how you would use that? I wouldn't want to kick very high in a street fight. What I'd be aiming for is the knee and the groin. Right? Boom, knee. Or boom, groin. Try to hit him somewhere where he's not going to like it, right? So, give those a shot. Uh, give some of those training tips a shot. If you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, and I will see you guys next time.